Welcome along to the next video in our series where we are creating a four bedroom house using Autodesk Revit. In this particular video, what we're going to be doing is adding a roof to our house. As you can see in the 3D view, in our previous um, tutorial, we added a ceiling on top of each room in our house. What we need to do now is add the roof to it. Okie doke. So, back in your ground floor view, we're going to go to the architecture tab up the top and we're going to select roof. Okay, that's just prompting me to save. I will save my project because I haven't done it for a while, so maybe you should do the same if you haven't saved for a while. Now, when you do click roof, you're going to get a little warning box that comes up asking if you'd like to move to level one. Just say yes to that. Okay, we're going to build our roof on level one rather than on the ground floor where our house is. Okay, so on level one, what we're going to do to build our roof is just go over to the properties first of all, and we're going to change it to a tiled roof. You don't have to have a tiled roof, but that's what I'm going to roll with in this one. And to put it in, you just need to go and click on the external walls. Oh, actually, one last thing we need to do, the overhang up here. Make sure your overhang is set to 400. Okay, mine was already set to that, so hopefully yours is too. Okay, so now that we've got that sorted, go around and click on all the external walls. Now, if you want, so probably a good time to do it now, in your properties here, just scroll down. Change the slope of the roof from 30 degrees to 22 degrees. Oops. And just apply that. You can see that the slope here now has a 22 degree angle rather than a 30 degree angle. Okay, just go around and keep clicking on the external walls and you should see a pink line starting to connect these up. Okay, for some reason we've gone back to 30 degrees with that slope, so I'm just going to go back and change it. Uh, where was it? Slope here, 22 degrees. Okay, you want to make sure that all the slopes around the house here, see this little angle symbol, they should all say 22 degrees. Okay, so you just go and click on them and double check. That's looking pretty good now. Sweet. So we've got our roof all done. It's as simple as that. So just press the green tick up the top. And if it asks you to attach the walls to the roof, say yes. Okay, now let's go to 3D view and have a look. And you'll see our tiled roof. You will just have to click off it so it doesn't select and you can get a better idea of how your roof's looking. Okay, not bad. The one thing missing from the roof is an obvious one, the gutters. Okay, so let's throw them in now. I'm going to say in 3D view to do this so you can see it happening. So on my um, architecture tab at the top, go to the little arrow underneath the roof. You've got a few different options here. What we're going to do is choose the bottom one, which is the gutter. And you need to click on the bottom section of the roof. You'll see a blue line appear. And when you click it, it will put a gutter in. So just go around your house clicking that bottom section of the roof and putting a gutter in. Okay, it probably is easier to do in 3D, so feel free to stay in your 3D mode doing this one. Okay, and we'll just get this last little bit, and there's a gutter on the house. Um, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit more to this gutter. Uh, we're going to go up to the architecture tab again and go to roof. This time choose the fascia. I think that's how you say it. And just go around and click. When you see the little blue line appear just above your gutters. Okay, it's just going to start adding a little bit more to the gutter section. Swing around the back of the house. Let's come back around the front. Nearly done. And I think I've already got that bit. Okay, so we've got the fascia done. Okay, that's starting to look pretty good. The last thing we're going to add now, we're just going to go back up to the ground floor view for this one. And we're going to go back to the roof with this little um, down arrow and choose the soffit. Okay, it's going to ask us to move to level 1 again, just say yes, and go around and click on those external walls to add in this soffit. Not 100% sure what that is exactly, I'm not a tradie myself, but I think it does add to the overall look. So now that we've got that all closed off and selected, just press the green tick, and that will add it in. If you go to 3D view, you might be able to see it in there somewhere. I'm not exactly sure what it did, but it does make the gutter look a bit better. Okay. 
So that right there is how we do the roof of our house. Put a tiled roof and a gutter to match.